Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2 once again. As you can see, my fabulous business partner, Art Kirsch, and I are with our lovely Michelle Fabrega, love and relationship coach. And Michelle, it's always good to talk to you because life is all about love and relationships. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah, it is. Very yeah, important. So, so I'm going to pose the question Hi. today. Um, there was a, 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 a song when uh, people of a certain age were young and growing up um, that had a, a tune in it. It was from Bye Bye Birdie. What's the matter with kids today? And th that was, that was, you know, at least the people singing it seemed to have control over their kids to the extent that they, you know, could control the, the handing out of the car keys and allowance uh, and other things they wanted to do. The parents sort of controlled the roost uh, and uh, you could tell them what to do. Uh, you really couldn't, but, uh, uh, but, but as we get older, uh, many of us still have those same kids but they've got their own cars and they've got their own worlds and they're making decisions. And quite frankly, mom and dad, they don't care what we have to say. Uh, and they don't have to if they don't want to because they're adults themselves. So I guess the topic for today is parenting adult children is a whole lot different than parenting younger children. And maybe we should learn oh, yeah. some lessons with younger children, any of us who still have them. But uh, is there, a, a, as our children get older and are of the age that they have their own children, how do we talk to them? Should we be talking to them? Should we be minding our own business? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love this topic, right? It's, it's, it's rich. It's, um, it, it obviously depends, too, on the age of your children and the difference, you know, you know, we need to be discerning in how we are with our adult children, right? Because, um, I mean, I used to think of parenting as like, it's like planned obsolescence, right? Eventually, we're not going to be here anymore, right, for them. And um, so, um, but yet we still have a role to play. So how do we, how do we walk that line, right? And um, I think there's, you know, sometimes, you know, do we rescue our adult children, you know, financially or otherwise? Um, is, um, you know, we might be concerned about their choices, but do we share our concern? Do we ask for permission for first or, you know, mm. and there probably are some situations where we might want to intervene, right? If it, you know, something related to, you know, some sort of addiction perhaps, or, or a relationship dynamic that seems, you know, abusive on the verge of dangerous, obviously, you know, we want to be caring um, parents here, but I think there's like, besides some of these more extreme examples, there's a lot more, um, I don't know, flux and flow and everybody has a different belief around this, but I think it's important to just look at this and like, what's, what are we, how are we holding this, this role and um, what's important to us? Yeah. You know, you, you, the, you, as you were just speaking, I thought to myself, it's, it's a weaning process. You know, we, we as parents <laughs> are in charge of weaning our children off of us or uh, out of our dependence, out of dependency on us so they can, you know, live their own lives. And yet at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, we are being weaned off of parenting, you know, as they grow up. That's right. Uh, That's right. We, at least we should be, you know, because you can't, you can't parent an adult forever. It, I love, personally speaking, I love the transition from parent to grandparent. It makes mm. the weaning process of parenting, telling your adult children what to do. Do this. Don't do that. You should. Do, <laughs> why didn't you do that? You know, it makes it easier when you get grandchildren, because you can be a grandparent, as and use that as a way to wean yourself off of parenting your adult children. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's. I mean, my you know my view of this, and I I have young adult daughters, so um, I'm not a grandparent, you know, yet. But it's about, I want to give them as much freedom to, you know, be themselves and to make the choices that they make. And obviously, you know, if there's some things that I might choose to intervene with, I might do that. But basically, I want them to 
grow and experience life. I don't want them to have pressure. I don't want them to necessarily be just like me. They don't have to take my values on. They can, you know, I want to honor the differences there. And I certainly don't want, you know, my needs for recognition or validation, or I don't want them to feel obligated to, you know, call me or, you know, emotional blackmail. Oh, well, so-and-so's kids are doing this for them. And what are you doing? You know, it's just like, you know, that's what I, I, I wouldn't want to be in that situation, you know, with my parents. So I'd prefer not to be doing that to my kids, but it's, it's kind of like, you know, how do we honor this next generation and can we trust their own, um, you know, choices and, you know, they're informed in their lives differently than we are. Like, I can't know what they've grown up with exactly. And so I kind of want to kind of want to trust the wisdom of humanity that's, you know, coming through them and others, their age and kind of step aside for the most part and yet, you know, be available. I mean, if they reach out to me, you know, that's, that's always a joy (laughs) to, to, you know, know, it's, uh, it's, um, I I think one of the things that uh, I found uh, uh, that's guided me mostly, and I think I've lived true to this, is that uh, in our case, we have three great kids and they do things, uh, some sense the same as we've done, but differently. And uh, the biggest thing uh, it came early on, actually when they were kind of little, but especially when they were adults, is let them make their own mistakes. They need to, because I think back to uh, when my parents, uh, when I was younger and then as I sort of got independent and I was paying the bills and and uh, paying for rent and uh, paying the, the loan on a car as an adult, um, I, I wasn't expecting them to uh, tell me what to do with it. And for the most part, they didn't. And the only time I ever heard from them was if I was doing something that was dangerous. And quite frankly, I never did anything that was that dangerous. Well, maybe maybe I did when I went into the military. Uh, <laughs> nobody had done that in my family before, and I could have gotten out of it. Uh, but you know, they they let me make my own mistakes as I became an adult, and uh, I think I turned out fairly well, as they probably did when they were becoming adults. And the kids have to make mistakes, and quite frankly, I think you have to think about: is it just different? Or is it something dangerous? And if it's not dangerous, I think you have to leave them alone and support them. It's a good point. Michelle, it seems to me that um, those parents who are still trying to control their adult children as if they were children, um, I call it overparenting. Mm-hmm. If you, those, those parents that are still overparenting their adult children um, it's almost a form of insecurity. In other words, they're not secure in the sense that they gave their children everything they need. They're now adults and open the door to the nest and send them out and good goodbye, good luck, and we're here if you need us. It's, it's the insecurity that they didn't provide those tools for their children, and they have to constantly stay on top of them do this, do that. Why are you doing that? I told you not to do this kind of thing. It, it That seems to me an insecure, a position of insecurity. Does that ring true? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think what you're saying, I'm, I'm thinking, is that they're not trusting their own children's ability to manage things on their own. It's like without them getting involved, my child's not going to be able to handle it. My adult child's not going to be able to handle it. So yes. in a way, you're kind of, it's like a, a vote for you can't handle this. Yes. <laughs> Which is yes. not a good thing to be voting against your child's, you know, your adult child's, you know, autonomy and confidence. And so I, I think you're right. I think it, it's kind of a, I mean, even, I mean, control in general. In fact, that's a new topic for us to get into. But that urge to control is is something that's really about the person themselves, their discomfort with the unknown. And yeah. so a parent often like, oh, what's going to happen? And they're going off to college or they just, you know, move to this new state with their partner. And what if the, 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 the new job and uh, God, uh, is that boss going to be treating them better than the last job? And it's just like when our minds are overly involved in our adult children's business, it's like no one's back home living yeah. our own life. Right. Yeah. And so 
it's, it doesn't help them because <laughs> it's like, ah, my mom's always calling me, you know, yuck. Um, I mean, what, I don't want my kids to be saying that, you know, even though I'm guilty of that occasionally when, you know, um, I reach out, but so it, it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of like, wow, what's going on here? And it's good sometimes if you see this in your, you know, your partner, it's like, wow, I noticed that you call a lot and they don't, is that working for you? Are you, what's going on? Like sometimes we just, we don't, we need somebody to notice it and kind of like help us yeah. kind of like draw in our, 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 our tendrils and <laughs> kind of bring them back, you know? So, um, I mean, really it's about, you know, loving and accepting and letting go. Yeah. And it's not easy. It's so not easy. Right. But that's part of our work too. And that gives them their space to be, you know, expressing themselves and being, and, you know, have their autonomy. Sure. Um, I think one of the uh, really positive signs uh, is when your adult children are comfortable enough with your relationship that they can turn back to you and say, Dad, Mom, please don't do that anymore. I need you to do this. In other yeah. words, it, it, you're, you're, parents have to adjust to this new ro role of I don't know what you call it, non-parenting or parenting at arm's yeah, length or, right. you know, just like the kids have to adjust to adulthood. Right. The parents have to adjust to their children's adulthood. Yeah. Well, I, I, guess, and I think I, that's a beautiful, okay. just want to say quick, when we're willing to hear that honest feedback from our children, you know, mom, dad, it'd be really helpful if you didn't comment on da, 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 or whatever. Yes. And it's kind of like, Thank you. Thanks for trusting me with what's true for you. And this is, I'm a big fan of feedback in general in any relationship, but like, wow, this person is sharing something that's important to them. I want to honor that. And so they trust you enough to share that with you. That's, that's a beautiful moment. Well, then I guess it's, it's safe to say that uh, uh, taking that same refrain, what's the matter with kids today is nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing that wasn't matter with them. Uh, 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 50 years ago or 20 years from now, it's just a little bit different. And um, uh, maybe the next uh, topic or a topic for a future session should be what happens when our kids have to be parenting us? And that happens a lot as as yeah. people get older and yeah. uh, less able to take care of themselves, perhaps, or uh, they don't take care of themselves physically. And the kids have to say, mom, dad, you need to go for that checkup. You need to do that. You need to stop driving. So maybe that's a whole new thing. But I would say that it, 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 the basic thing is, like you were saying, uh, Michelle, you have to, uh, in effect, you have to give your kids as much training and, and understanding and ability to be self-sufficient and then let them fly. Yeah. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.